Hello Pisces, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of July 31st through August 7th, 2017. The cards I am using today are, oops, <laughs> Oracle of the Mermaid Cards by Lucy Cavendish. Uh, let me turn this a little bit more. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out of the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for likes, sharing, subscribing, and setting personal readings with me. Okay, so, ooh, man, some of you guys had love that happened very quickly. It was just like, boom. All right, but um, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Other than that, let's get a show on the, this show on the road. What's going on for Pisces? July 1st through August 7th, 2017. Pisces, love reading. Ah, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. All right. Ooh, geez. So it's a third party situation going on. Um, I think this, I'm feeling like it might be the new love, but let's see. Oh, no. This is being done to you. Somebody is carrying baggage, and I feel like, oh, I'm sorry. I don't understand why I can't see straight. I don't have my glasses on, so everything look weird. But. I got a love card. All right, so. <laughs> so what it looks like, oh my God, everything is wrong. Like, it, I like stuff to be like level and it's not, but let's try to look at the cards. Maybe it is. So it's a third party situation going on. I feel like it's against you, but I feel like the third party, the person that has a third party loves you. They're in love with you, but you really don't love them yet. You like them, but you don't love them because you feel like you don't know them that well. And you're holding on to baggage. And that's what's making you not love this person, okay? So the third party could be with both of you guys. I feel like the third party is you in your head. But their third party is like somebody that they're leaving for you is what I'm feeling. Or have left for you. Alright, so. With, oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to stop moving these cards. But, um... This is basically like you guys are breathing life into each other. Just judging by this. But it's also emotionally draining the love that you have for this one person. And then you want to have love for this other person. But you can't because you stuck to another one. And the other one is just deep for you and trying to leave. Man, you guys got some passion going on here. You know. Okay, so this person you might work with them. Um, this person probably is somebody at your job or this person just makes more money than you, okay? Or vice versa. It could be both ways. So, sorry, this is the last time, I promise. I'm not going to touch the cards no more unless I'm flipping them. Uh, you guys are very attracted to each other. You feel like you, each other are a beautiful person inside and out. Okay, one more for the road, Pisces. Okay, so the person very really loves you and they want to start a family with you. I feel like they're fertile, you're fertile, and they want to go the extra mile. They really want to start a new relationship with you. They want to have babies. They want to do everything with you, but you're just not ready for that right now. You know, they want it all. You know, they really to give up everything for you. You guys have not had sex yet. Hmm. <laughs> this week <laughs> all right so okay what is this so basically this is sometimes judgments with um law is going to go in your favor um but i think judgment with love is going to go with your favor in this case so it could be either or for some of you it's law some of you is love okay so what's going on for pisces july 31st through august 7 2017 pisces july 31st to August 27th. Love. 2017. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. You got a flipper here. Okay, so basically good things are happening. Just is not not as good as you want. That's what I believe. But that part, you are getting love and you are communicating. Sorry. Oh, that was a big nasty. Uh, I got to find another way. I'm thinking about getting a new form of... recording but um this saying is it's gonna take a lot of money or this uh, something going on with the job and new beginnings being halted new money 
Okay, but this... Oh, my God. All right, so let's just read these, and then I can get it from there. Okay, so it's getting ready to be some not-so-good news in the mail. All right, let's go. So we got the star card first star the star the star the star so the star card is reversed it says conceit inflated self-importance additionally low self-esteem prevent you from pursuing your gifts and visions so i feel like this is the person with the baggage okay so i mean, think this might be you but it could be vice versa it's like you are getting things that you want but you feel like you don't deserve them yeah Yep, you feel like you can't, don't deserve them or you shouldn't be able to get them. So when you think something, that's that makes it happen, you know. If you don't think you deserve something, you start acting like you don't deserve it, which makes it get broke or stolen or whatever because it's all over. You know, you're not caring about it. You don't care about something that disappears. It's crazy that this will come up here. Okay, so we got the Ace of Coins here. It says, this card indicates a very negative and opposite influence on money and inaccuracies in information. So basically, this makes me feel like somebody might have put their money in something and they didn't know what it was completely. And now they are... I'm feeling like this money is just going to fall out their hands. Like, it's like you bought something but it wasn't what you expected it to be kind of thing okay and now it's like nothing you can do you won't get your money back and i feel like it's a lot of money too all right so we got the ten of coins and it says a time to be secure in your home and your surroundings a time for financial and economic stability a time when happiness surrounds the home remember your family so it's basically like I don't know, like forget about the old things, money or past events that were negative on money and just like love what, you, what you're what you doing now. Like appreciate it, believe that it's supposed to be yours, want it, you know what I'm saying? Want it, take it and love it, you know, treat it right. Treat it right and then stick around, okay? So we got the Eight of Staffs. Eight of Staffs reversed. It says Envy internal struggle and a guilty conscience so this automatically when i heard guilty i mean um envy it reminded me straight of work so i feel like people at the workplace is not going to like what's going on and it's like you got a guilty conscience about it but it's like no need for that i don't feel like it it's just like basically work or money i mean love or work that's what I'm feeling like in this situation. But um, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Other than that, have a great week. Oops.